This is an illustration how to do a calibration adjustment to a TP7D or a TP9A. The equipment needed in this case will be an ice bath, a calibrated reference, and this is a TL3, uh, obviously the, the gauging thermometer that needs to be adjusted. You want to put both in the bath. Uh, it should be equal parts of water and ice. To get the instrument into calibration mode, browse to the calibration selection in the software using the up or down arrows until it gets calibrated. Use the select to enter calibration mode. To get into calibration, it requires a three digit password to ensure it's not changed by accident. The password is 112. You use your up and down arrows to increment. Well, one, one, two. That gets me into calibration mode. Now I can decide if I want to make an adjustment, which I do. Also, can see that I have a calibration icon. You could do a two point, a three point, or a four point calibration. We're going to be doing a two point. So, to add the first point, it's recommended that you do the points in incremental order. You want to do a freezing point and then your higher temperature second. So, I'm doing a freezing point, so I'll add point one. So again, you can see that I'm in calibration mode and I'm doing calibration point one. At this point, we need to use our up and down arrows to adjust our temperature readout to match that of our reference. We're reading 31.99 and 98 in our ice bath right now, so we're going to bring the temperature down. If you hold the button a long time, it will in, it'll increase the adjustment very quickly. Momentary presses will adjust it only in the hundredths precision. So 31. Nine, nine. Oop, oop, one. Once the two match, so both are 31.99, you hit select. And ask if you want to save. You hit select again to confirm. And now it shows that we want to move on to point two. To continue the calibration adjustment on the thermoprobe, we move to a 200 degree Fahrenheit bath. You can do the similar, you can do the same using a, a boiling pot of water. Again, we used our same reference and moved it over. So we're showing at point two, we want to hit select, and now we're showing calibration at point two. Again, we want to adjust the thermometer to read the same as a reference. So we're looking for 200.46. Bring it down. Down 46. 46. Uh, four, uh, yeah, it's at 4.6. All right. Once, those, once we're happy that those two match, we hit select, we get a save, we confirm that by selecting again and it says adjustment done. We want to hit select on that and we've completed our calibration. To save that, we need to power the instrument off. And it's always a good idea to go back and verify that your adjustment still matches your reference at each point it was adjusted. So 200.43, 200.4544, yep, that's good.